Hello friends, this is Irwin. And now the holders for the mast sits in a good position and are laminated down there. And now I'm gonna do the deck hatches, but at the same time I have idea. And uh, for every step, you have to think about all the other steps so that they don't interfere with each other. And that's the biggest problem. And now a big problem is this. Uh, the, on the deck here, I'm gonna have solar panels. But not only that, the sculling ore is gonna be there too. And there is really no place for the sculling ore and the solar panels. But then I got this idea. I put the ore below. I make a groove in it. And here's the ore. Sculling ore goes up here and sculling. And it's a good position. And I put it just below inside here and it comes out here and here is the front hatch deck hatch and here i have a little deck space of walking and i can hold on to the mast and this all comes out here and there's going to be a hole on the other side too and then i can sit in the middle and i have a good place to rest against when the boat is rolling and rocking so this is the idea for the oar and that. But you always have to be a few steps ahead because, as I said, things interfere. That's the biggest problem. Not only on the boat, but on the life. You know, there's always something. You think you're gonna do something, but there is something else, and then you cannot do it. So this is one step ahead here on that thing and now I'm gonna do this things here so thank you very much for this yes here is the deck house wow it's the bedroom and the dining room and on top of that and it's got quite a bit of area there in fact it's like, I think maybe 1.7 square meter. Here, all that surface is, is a lot, it's a lot. And the solar panels getting more and more efficient and the batteries too. So I'm considering, thinking about, maybe I have, to have an outboard engine in here, somewhere in the back electric output engine and put it in the water and with all these solar panels it can propel the boat because in Madeira 2021 I think it was getting out of the harbor there was a boat that had an electric outboard engine and a two me out and in the rubber boat it was the man and his wife, and quite a big rubber boat, and that took me behind, you know, with a lot more speed than I could ever do by my sculling oar. And now I'm thinking, for example, getting down to the equator, in the doldrums and there, and no wind, but a lot of sunshine. Maybe I could just put the boat on the autopilot and then yeah, get out the pilot and then just power it through. Well, this is an idea, but there's a lot of development about this electrical engines, and most of them have um, lithium batteries, but I'm not gonna have lithium battery in my boat because to me, that's too dangerous. If they catch fire, you cannot put them out. And I say they are safe and you can shoot a bullet through them and but still you're not allowed to take them on airplanes and I think that's maybe a reason for that too. 
So this is this. I think a small boat can be propelled by solar panels, but not a big one. The reason is the Galileo square cube law. It says that on a thing, surfaces increases with the square of the scale, but weight and displacements increases with the cube. That's why we don't have big birds. That's why you not can make a big sailing ship. Well, there is a reason, but not the biggest we have now. But I think when you make smaller things, things become more easy. Like a little stone, like dust, can fly in the air all the way across the Atlantic. And spider can ballooning, it can get out a thread and be airborne for many miles. So, be interesting to see the development on solar panels and electrical engines.